Hey everybody, it's Miss Kokenauer. This is your first video of your tutorials for your assignments um, from where we're out of school. You can find your assignments on Schoology and hopefully there'll be everything you need from examples and this video and a few other things. But if you need any um, further assistance or if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me on Schoology. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we are working on value. Value is the lightness or darkness of a color. Remember, value is one of the elements of design. Um, and it, it goes along with shading and all that good stuff with actual drawing objects. So um, I wanna show you real quickly, please bear with me with my with my camera skills, but this is what we're gonna be focusing on today. We're gonna to be focusing on drawing your own cube and drawing your own sphere and shading it um, to do with the lighting source, okay? Um, so, please forgive me while I'm moving this around um, to get our drawing. Now, if you do not have, uh, hold on, one more second. There we go. I think that's good. Okay, so if you do not have any like official drawing paper or or any kind of uh, artist pad, obviously a regular notebook would work. Okay, you could work on, and if you would like to do that instead, um, sometimes the lines help you as guides. So that's okay if you would like to do that too. Um, or any kind of plain computer paper, whatever you have is, is fine with me. Once you get this done, um, you will need to uh, either take a picture of it or scan it or something like that and turn it in to me on Schoology. Again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to message me or have your parents message me. So let's start off with a circle. Okay, circles are pretty, pretty tricky, but um, if you have something like a candle or a bottle or any kind of something to help you with the drawing um, that is probably ideal okay because most of you obviously probably will not have a compass at your house now also if you do not if you can't find anything for a drawing tool you can use a ruler okay and what you would be doing is you'll be kind of making it, um, making a dot in the middle of the paper, okay? And we can be kind of measuring out, what I like to do is kind of a cross or an X or a T, however you wanna say it, okay? And you actually don't even need a ruler for that, but if that helps you um, get a, like a, say I'm gonna do four inches by four inches, that kind of thing. You're always wanting to measure, oh, see, even I messed up. Measure um, the tall versus the width, okay? And if you do that, that is kind of a nice way to do a curve, a curve, and it just helps when you don't have drawing tools at your house. If you don't have a ruler, obviously you can kind of eyeball it. You can um, you can even kind of use your fingers as measuring units. Um, now this cir circle is very kind of pointy. It almost looks like a lemon. But remember, we draw lightly, so we can um, we can kind of round them off and make them a lot smoother. Okay. See how I rounded off that edge? And I'm gonna just round off my other edges. So all of that, all that I just did, are just little tools that help me, um, but you find your tools that help you the best, right? If you can make a perfect circle without, draw, uh, without measuring and all that good stuff, then you go right ahead, okay? I'll, everybody is different. Okay, so that's good enough. If your circle is not perfect, it is okay. Okay, that's not what we're focusing on for this lesson. Okay, so what should we wanna do first? 
and this is the most important thing on any piece of work is where is your light source? Um, if you've been in my class on this lesson, remember we take a flashlight and we say, we, we put a flashlight toward that object. Okay, and that's a good visual. So if you have a flashlight, you can kind of play around with it and see the visual elements. Right here is where my light source is. So whether it be if you're outside, if it's the sun, or like I said, a, a flashlight, or whatever the case is, my light is coming down on this object right here, okay? So this is going to be the lightest, and then it's gonna gradually go down to dark, and then you're also gonna feel uh, see that um, shadow, okay? So what I wanna do first is I want to do the lightness, and my lightness is going to be white. It's gonna be that paper color. Okay, so um, what we wanna do, let's say, let's say four. Okay, we wanna do a white. We wanna do a light. We wanna do a medium and we wanna do a dark. So this, this is gonna be our value scale. Okay, and I'll write that up there. We'll write up light source. Oh, totally misspelled that. Don't, don't judge me. Okay, light. Value. Okay, so we have our box one, two, three, four. Um, here is your light. Okay, the light is going to be as light as you can. Okay. So, and I'm just going to do it really lightly. It would help you if you actually did it um, fully instead of what I'm doing, um, just because I'm trying to save time. So what here is our medium, okay? And um, while I'm doing this, I'm actually using an HB pencil. Um, it's an artist pencil and I'm using uh, just a regular eraser. Um, any kind of pencil will work. Um, mechanical, remember if you're using mechanical, um, it is a lot harder on your paper and you have to press a lot lighter. So I do suggest if you do have, um, if you do have a regular wooden pencil to use that, but, um, any pencil will do no pens, no markers, Bo Farley, no, um, colored pencil, all that good stuff. Okay. We are working with pencil. So here is your your dark, okay? And when you're doing dark, you don't wanna kill your paper, okay? You don't want to make um, holes in it or anything like that, but you do want it to get dark. Um, but you don't wanna press down so hard that it rips your paper. So here's your value scale, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is, this is gonna be our white, this is gonna be the spot that your light hits, Okay, and then um, you're going to do light, okay, medium, and dark, okay? So our dark, I like to start with dark um, because I like to see how dark I can get it and then gradually work back up. Um, some people do the opposite, which is fine. Um, but I like to do the dark because it, sometimes it seems like if I'm doing light to dark, I get too too dark with my lights and then it's just kind of one color. So what I like to do, it works better for me to go um, dark to light. But again, whatever is easiest for you. So what I want to do is I want to do my dark, my darkest darks around where my light is hitting. So you're doing the opposites. Okay. And you don't, when you're filling it in, this is gonna take a while because you do not wanna leave those white streaks, okay? Remember, this is our only white section. So we wanna fill in all of the white streaks. Remember your craftsmanship, um, taking your time, okay? Okay. 
okay? And then you're gradually going to get uh, lighter. What I like to do is I like to do it in stages where here are, is my light, oops, and see, I went outside the circle. All you gotta do is erase, ta-da. So um, I like to fill it in the medium, okay? And I put these lines here so I know where to stop and where to blend. So here's my medium, fill it in nice and neat. I'm doing it a little fast and, and um, not really neat, just so I can kind of show you um, quickly. But if you notice how I am kind of moving my pencil, I'm not going, I'm not going side to side, I'm not going up and down, I'm kind of moving it back and forth. I'm doing that because um, it is a circle. So you have to kind of um, move along with your object. If you're not, then you're kind of just coloring it in and it looks more of like a cartoon. This is, this value, adding value to any painting or picture really adds that realism to it. So we want to make it look like it's blended, um, like it's a sphere. We don't want to look like it's been colored, okay? So now, if you look here, we have a medium and a dark. Now we kind of need to blend in the dark. So I'm pushing just a little bit harder and kind of muddying up those lines, blending it in together, okay? And this is what I mean by starting with the darkest and going light. I feel like it's a lot easier to blend it this way than blend it the other because it's so easy to get dark um, without really meaning to. Okay. Okay, and if, if you can kind of tell the difference now is that it's blending in nicely where you do not see, you don't see um, two stripes, you see one solid color. Okay, and sometimes this takes a little longer because you're kind of playing around with it and you're looking at it um, let's see here. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, looks pretty good, I think. Um, so let's move on. So here, like I said, you're going from two sections to one nice big section that you really can't tell the difference. Okay, so now you're going to medium to light, okay? And remember, white is going to be your lightest color. So what I like to do is, let me erase this circle a little bit, just because I feel like it's gonna be a little too dark, okay? I like to leave this section to the end. You will have a little bit darker colors, um, but I like to blend those at the end um, but if you'd like, you could always blend them now because you're gonna have a little bit more medium to light. But like I said, I like to leave that to the end because, um, because sometimes I get too much dark up here and it bleeds into my white. So um, I'm going to do light. So all this area is going to be light. And this is it's kind of hard to do the light and not have white spots because you do want to make it as light as possible, but you're gonna just try, you can always go back in with your eraser too. So here, I'm not worried too much about my angle because I'm gonna try to just fill it in and then once we blend it, that's when I'm gonna be kind of worrying a bit more about my angle. So you really don't wanna see a lot of these marks here, you can see are straight lines. That's what we'll fix in just a moment. Okay, I like to fill it all in. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so we have it all filled in with uh, light. Now we're going to do the blending. Now remember, this stays white, and so this is gonna get a little 
little bit lighter, but let's focus that on that in just a moment. Let's do the dark, or excuse me, not the dark, the medium to light. Okay. Okay, and this way, you're kind of creeping up the sides. Okay, um, and making, remember that, that C or U kind of shape while you're blending. Now I blended just a little too much. I'll take it just off just a little bit because that brought in a little too much dark. And see, this is all about editing yourself, um, going back and forth, um, fixing the light and dark. Okay, so if you made a mark on your paper that you don't like, don't beat yourself up about it. That's all about the creative process. Okay, so now as you can see, again, we're going back from, instead of stripes, right, we're blending it all together. So it's one big section. Uh, let's see here. This is darker. We need to kind of make that. And see how I'm always going back to my dark. I'm always trying to blend it a little bit better. Um, and that's why I like to start with that. Because I like to kind of gather from that dark. Now, I'm going to go on up and kind of make this. This kind of doesn't go all the way to the dark, but it goes a little bit more to medium. Okay, and I'm gonna go just a little darker there, not too much, because remember, this value scale is going to be a lot longer than this one, because here's your white. So it's just a little touch of dark, not that much. Okay. And see now, what I would need to worry about is not making this section all one color. And that's usually one of my problems um, I need to kind of work on is make, making those differences between light and medium. Um, because it's really easy to do. It's really easy to get dark and medium and then white. And you can't forget about the actual um, lightness there because you want to add as many values as you can. Okay, so let's see. Now, um, I kind of want to, I don't want to um, make my white way too small, so I want to kind of make it just a hair bigger. And now I'm going to barely go in and add in the lightest of light to go to make up so you cannot see that circle that you drew okay and that's why I kind of erased that line um, you want to make it remember muddying up that line blur it up and barely go in okay and remember to go in a circular motion so it looks round. Because again, this is gonna help you make it look more realistic. Okay, so now I'm looking at my paper. I see that this is medium to dark and it's white, white, white. So I'm gonna kind of blend it. This is a point where you go back and you kind of blend in your piece to see how it looks. Let me look on the camera and see how that looks. Uh, it looks pretty good, I think. Um, so here is our sphere. Now, our next point to finish up our sphere, remember we have the shadows. So let me erase what I, you know, did our little marks here. Your shadow, is always going to be your your dark so it's going to be just like your darkest um, and remember where your light is light 
So the shadow is going to be cast off, right? So go straight down and it's going to be kind of backward here. So, um, and remember your shadow is going to be circular as well because, because it follows the shape of whatever object, right? So if it's you, that's why we, you know, think of Peter Pan, right? Think of Peter Pan with his shadow. Um, it, it casts off to make the same shape as whatever it is. So here is our shadow. Um, and if you see that I did it really lightly first, um, just to get that nice shape down, this shape is more of a oval than a circle because it's, um, it's flat. Okay. So kind of make a puddle or an oval shape the best you can. And then this is going to be all to medium to dark. Oh, that guy doesn't look very good. He needs to be rounded off a little bit more. And again, you know, edit as you go. If something doesn't look right, edit it. Um, or if it doesn't look right, come back to it, okay? Okay, so again, I'm gonna do it light just so I can get the shape that I want. And I think, I think I'm gonna make it a little bit. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a drawing tutorial, so we're practicing, okay? The more you practice, the better you will be. Okay, your sphere might look really bad right now and you don't like it and you say, oh, I'm a horrible artist, but the more you do it, the better you'll be. It's just like a musical instrument. It's just like a sport. It's, it's just like reading, right? The more you read, the better you'll be. So, um, I definitely, I don't really like my shadow. So don't beat yourself up. Okay. Practice. Okay. And as far as this assignment goes, if it, um, even if you're, if you don't like it, if it's not very good, um, you get participation points, right? I'm not grading you on how it is. I'm grading you on if you did it and if you practiced it and if you tried. Okay. So, um, there is my, I think I need to, my shadow needs to come around a little bit more. Oh, well, I'm getting too technical with it. Remember, it's just practice. Um, so now you can kind of make it darker once you get the shape that you like. Okay, actually, I'm gonna kind of make it this. Uh, there we go, I think that looks, it's looking a lot better. But anyway, remember when you're filling in, you don't want any white streaks. So it is gonna take you a long time to fill it in like this, okay? Because you're gonna take your time and you're working on your craftsmanship. Okay, so you're making it darker. Okay, and voila, there is your sphere. So uh, our next video will be on our cube. Thanks for tuning in.